Find the sum to infinity for the following geometric progression. Now, what happens in these cases is, you know, we know what is the formula for the sum of a geometric progression. The general formula where r is not equal to 1 is given as a times r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. Right? But in this case, we do not know the value of n because it's tending to infinity. Right? So in these cases, the formula for the sum of an infinite GP is given as a upon 1 minus r. We are not getting into the derivation for this, but please note that this formula can be used only when mod of the ratio, okay? What I mean by mod of the ratio is that the positive number of the ratio is less than 1. If r is greater than or equal to 1, then in that case the sum also tends to go to infinity right so if the mod of r is less than uh, 1 okay and in any case the value of r should lie between minus 1 which means that r is greater than minus 1 but it is less than 1 so for such a kind of a situation okay there are two parameters the value of r lies between minus 1 and 1 okay greater than minus 1 less than 1 and the mod of r is positive or it's less than 1 in that case the sum of an infinite gp is given as a upon 1 minus r if r is greater than or equal to 1 then the sum of the gp also tends to go to the infinity now if we come back to the case at hand the value of a in this case is minus 3 upon 5 and let's see what's the value of r. We will try two values of r. First by dividing the second term with the first. So 3 by 10 divided by 3 by 5. Right? So this 3 will knock this 3 off. This 5 will go to 2 or minus 1 upon 2. If we take the second case we get 3 upon 20 minus divided by 3 upon 10. Again, this will knock off this. This 10 will give you 2 minus 1 upon 2. So the minus 1 upon 2 we know is obviously greater than minus 1. This part. Right? And it is also less than 1. And if you find out the mod of minus 1 upon 2, you get 1 upon 2, which is also less than 1. Hence, we can say that the sum of this infinite GP can be written as A upon 1 minus R. The value of a we know is minus 3 by 5 divided by 1 minus r. How much is the value of r? Minus 1 upon 2. Right? So minus 3 upon 5. If we solve the denominator, what do we get? We get 1 plus 1 by 2, which is 3 by 2. Into 2 upon 3. 3 knocks off 3. So you get minus 2 upon 5. Right? So the sum of infinite term of this given GP is going to be equal to minus 2 upon 5. Right? Again, as I said, you need to find out the value of R, which is crucial, and then compare as to what is the value which it is getting. If the value is less than 1, greater than minus 1, okay, and the mod of this value is also less than 1, then we apply this formula.